All right, so let me show you the easiest way to keep your characters consistent across every scene. First things first, you'll need to head over to Open Art, and I'll leave a link for you in the description down below so you can try this out for yourself. After registering for the platform, you'll be directed to the homepage where you'll find two main sections, Image Creation and Storytelling Mode, both of which are absolutely fantastic, but today we're going to focus on creating our character first. Once you click on Create Image, you'll be directed to the AI Image Generator, where on the left side, you'll see the AI Model Picker and Prompt Box, alongside some rendering settings like Aspect Ratio, Image to Image, and other options. From this button here, you can actually switch to a different AI image generation model, such as Flux Realism, which is one of the best models and my personal favorite that I've been using for a while now. When it comes to creating consistent characters, OpenArt actually gives you three different options. Creating a character using just a text description, starting with a single reference image, or using multiple images to train a custom character. We're going to focus on the single image workflow and I'm going to show you how to take just one photo or one AI generated image and turn it into a consistent character. And now click start with one image under the character creation options. I've got this image of Jason, who I imagine as a cyberpunk detective in a futuristic city, but you can literally use any high quality image you want. It could be an AI generated image, a photo, or even artwork. Here's what you need to do. Give your character a name. I'm going to type in Jason right here. Now, something really important that a lot of people miss is making sure your reference image is clear and shows your character's feature as well. I found that front facing or three quarter view images work best and will make a huge difference in the quality of your results. Once you've got your image uploaded, just hit create character and open art will start its training process. This usually takes about five to 10 minutes, which is actually insane when you think about it. Now that we've got our character Jason trained and ready to go, let's create some great scenes with him by clicking create with our character selected. From experience, there are a few really important settings that you need to know about to get the best results. Like this slider here under character called weight. From all my testing, I found that you want to increase this a little bit. I usually set it around 0.8, which ensures that your character stays consistent and doesn't suddenly look like a completely different person. There's also an option here named Preserve Key Features, which is on by default, to help maintain a consistent character. However, if you want your character to have a different hairstyle, clothes, or just be more flexible in general, you can turn it off to get more diverse results. Now let's write our first prompt. I'm going to type in, Jason investigates a crime scene in a rainy neon lit alleyway, holographic police tape, cyberpunk city in the background, cinematic lighting. And make sure you keep your character's name at the beginning of the prompt, as this helps open art understand who the main focus should be. And here is what it generated. You can clearly see that Jason looks exactly like our reference image, but now he's in this completely different environment with the facial features and clothing style all consistent, which is actually mind blowing when you think about it. Let me show you another example. This time, let's try something completely different. All right, Jason sits in a high tech office, analyzing data on multiple floating screens city skyline visible through large windows. And now that looks amazing. It's the same character again, but in a totally different scene. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get exactly what you want, but that's totally normal. The key is that your character will stay consistent throughout all these generations. Now let's take things to the next level and create scenes with multiple characters interacting with each other. Something that was completely impossible with other AI tools until now. I'm going to create two fantasy characters, I'll upload a reference image of a mystical looking woman with elaborate clothing, name her Amber, and click create character. And for Mike, I'll use a reference image of a strong warrior figure, name him Mike, and click create character. Once you've created your characters, it's time to bring them together by clicking on create with characters and selecting both of your characters from your library. For our first scene, I'll write Amber and Mike planning their journey in an ancient tavern. Amber pointing at a mystical map. Warm firelight, fantasy setting, detailed medieval environment. And look at that. Both characters maintain their distinct appearances and they're interacting naturally in the scene with Amber pointing at the map just like we asked. Let's try another prompt with the same characters, but in a completely different setting. Amber and Mike battling dark creatures in an enchanted forest. Amber casting a powerful spell with glowing hands. Mike defending with his sword. Moonlight filtering through trees. Fantasy action scene. And as you can see, the consistency is incredible. Both characters maintain their unique features 
while performing different actions in a completely different environment. Now we're actually going to bring our character to life using OpenArt's integration with Kling 1.6. Once you've generated an image that you're happy with, you'll see this image to video option right here at the top, which is actually OpenArt's direct integration with Kling 1.6 currently the most advanced AI video generation model in my opinion, but you can also use Minimax if you want. For this example, I've generated this shot of Jason in his high-tech detective office. You'll see a prompt box appear where I'll type in, camera slowly moves through the office, revealing holographic evidence floating around Jason, subtle blue lighting shifts, detailed environment. The key here is to be specific about the type of movement you want. And we've just turned our static image into a fully animated scene where the camera movement is smooth, Jason stays completely consistent, and the lighting adjusts perfectly throughout the sequence. For our fantasy tavern scene with Amber and Mike, I'll write, camera slowly circles around Amber and Mike as they discuss their plans, Firelight flickering, Amber's hands gesture over the map, Mike nods thoughtfully, and this is absolutely insane. You can create professional looking videos with multiple characters with just one click. When you're writing your camera movement prompts, try to think cinematically by being specific about the emotion you want to convey and thinking about dramatic reveals or subtle detail shots as the AI actually understands these concepts and will adjust the movement accordingly. Make sure to be specific in your prompts about what each character is doing. When creating multiple characters, make sure they have distinct features from each other, because this helps the AI differentiate between them and produces much better results. For example, if you're creating two female characters, make sure they have different hair colors, different clothing styles, or different body types. Now I'm gonna show you something that's absolutely insane, which is the 3D Pose Editor. When you're in the character creation mode, you'll see an option called Pose Your Character. And when you click on that, you'll get this incredible 3D model that you can manipulate however you want. There are actually two ways to use this. First, if you're just getting started or want to work quickly, OpenArt has this amazing library of preset poses that you can find on this drop-down menu with everything from basic standing poses to dynamic action shots. For our example with Jason, I want to create this epic scene where he's examining evidence in the rain, so instead of trying to describe this perfectly in the prompt, I'll select leaning forward, right hand supporting from the preset library, and then we can adjust it to be exactly what we want. The control points on the 3D model allow complete customization of your character's pose. I'm going to adjust the head angle slightly and position the arms as if he's holding a holographic device. Once you've got your pose exactly how you want it, click Update Pose, and now OpenArt will generate what's called a depth map, which helps the AI understand exactly how your character should be positioned in the scene. Let me show you what happens when we generate this by writing something like, Jason crouches while holding holographic evidence in a rain-soaked street, neon reflections in puddles, cyberpunk city towers looming above. Despite what other AI platforms have told you, creating consistent characters isn't that hard. The truth is, most people are struggling with character consistency because they're using the wrong tools. Despite what other AI platforms have told you, creating consistent characters isn't that hard. The truth is, most people are struggling with character consistency because they're using the wrong tools. OpenArt has solved this problem completely with their consistent character feature, and I've just shown you exactly how to use it step by step. If you want to try this out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And trust me, having a tool like this is absolutely game-changing, as it's going to save you so much time while giving you professional-level results.